Hi guys, it's me, Johnny Star. I will be honest, doing unfiltered videos is kind of fun. Not to say that I don't have fun writing scripts and coming up with concepts to turn into full videos. I am saying that there is just something about being completely unhinged and yelling at all of you about something that irritates me. So let's try it one last time. This, this probably won't be the last time. I don't know why I said that. Today I'm going to be talking about art styles in manga. Art style is really kind of the defining feature of whether or not I will read particular stories. There are a lot of manga and series out there that people have told me are really good, but I just refuse to read them because I'm not looking at that shit all day. Really good manga art has a way of transforming the already interesting story into something on a whole nother level and really bad art can really drag down an already good story. My main issue is that a lot of really bad art can push me away from even wanting to read it in the first place. I'm about to drop a lot of hot takes on you guys. Some of you will feel the need to start writing full paragraphs about why I won't read your favorite series and also know I'm probably not going to read it. And examples of series that I refuse to read because I do not like the art style, I'm gonna go ahead and say Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. You see Jojo has a very expansive loud audience. That tells me that this series is probably some of the best shonen to ever exist. I watched the anime all the way up to season three. I even watched part four. And I gotta be honest, I, I liked most of the stuff that I saw. But these days, I don't really have a lot of time to be dedicating to long running anime series. So I usually prefer to read the manga. But I can't do that for Jojo, cause I hate the way a Rocky draws shit. Some of the outfits and designs are excusable in the anime because the animation does a real good job of complementing all of these weird looking designs. But in black and white manga text, it doesn't look all that appealing. I had a real hard time getting through the Demon Slayer manga, specifically because of the art. These character designs are not very appealing in print. I give a lot of credit to the crew that went ahead and worked on the character designs for the anime. But even with series that don't have very visually appealing art, there are some exceptions where I will read the manga because the story is so good. I really like Jujutsu Kaisen. That first season of the anime was amazing, and I couldn't wait for our season 2 announcement, so I just decided to dive headfirst into the manga. And I don't think I've ever said this out loud before, but I gotta tell you man, JJK's art is kinda stinky. There are some pretty impressive panels here and there in JJK. At its worst, a lot of the times the art is really confusing and hard to understand. It's just really messy. There are times where you'll be reading an action panel and you will have a very difficult time trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. I do not think I would have had any interest in this series if the anime wasn't so good. Gigi does a real good job of writing very compelling stories and cool characters with a lot of development, but his art leaves a lot to be desired. I will make it a point to say that just because I like the art doesn't automatically make the series good. And the only praise that I can give Fairy Tail is that I really like the character design. Natsu is a really cool looking character. So is Lucy, so is Grey and Urza. But you guys know me, I fucking hate Fairy Tail. I mean, the story is awful, but it sure as hell looks pretty. I definitely do think that good art can really trick people into thinking that a series is a lot better than it actually is. You'll get distracted by all the cool shit that you're looking at until you finally realize that this story doesn't really make a lot of sense. And these characters are kind of stupid. While I believe there is an argument to be made, that I am limiting myself when I only look for series that have art styles that are appealing to me. I have found a good majority of series are really, really cool based off of this philosophy. Series that I probably wouldn't have heard of since they're not necessarily mainstream. In my personal opinion, the series that have the best art are not necessarily the mainstream ones. Currently I'm reading this manga called Drifting Dragons and the art in this thing is stunning. The way the artist draws the clouds and these flying dragons and these really powerful action scenes are mesmerizing. I only wish it actually ended up getting a good anime, but instead Netflix decided to create this monstrosity. I just can't have good things anymore, man. But the thing I really wanted to complain about, the real reason I wanted to make this video in the first place, is to go ahead and talk about probably one of the more irritating things that I come across as a manga reader. When my favorite mangaka continues writing the series and there is a visible decline in the art. And this tends to happen more often with shonen series. I'm a really big fan of Soul Eater. 
I think as the series continued, the art actually got a lot better from beginning to end. But all of a sudden, for some reason, when we moved on to Fire Force, the manga art is kind of bland. The final volumes of Soul Eater are probably some of the best Okobu's art style has ever been. The character designs are extremely refined when you compare them to their first iterations. There's a lot of emphasis on colors and shading. But all of a sudden in Fire Force, the art style seems to be extremely dumbed down in the manga. Characters look very stiff. There isn't a lot of shading and a lot of the character designs are exactly the same. I understand that this is for in-universe uniform reasonings, but I don't know, I feel like there's probably a better way to mix up some of these character designs. All of this just looks really flat to me. Personally, and this might be the biggest hot take I have in this entire video, I believe that this concept, the regression of art style, is very visible in One Piece. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, I think the art in One Piece was a lot better at the beginning of the series. Oda's panel work has gotten really messy over the years, and for understandable reasons, he himself as a writer knows that trying to panel One Piece like he used to would end up making the series way longer than it probably needs to be. Jamming a bunch of different scenes in multiple panels on one page helps the pacing, but it definitely does a number on the art. One Piece is really at its peak when we hit Water 7 all the way up to Marineford, and then the time skip happened and things started to get a little hairy. That doesn't mean I still don't don't love One Piece and the way the art looks, I still do. I just kind of preferred the way it looked before. The story in One Piece is so good that this is something that I can easily bypass, so I'm not too upset at it, it just is something that I've noticed. An example of an artist getting much, much better at his art style as the series went on is Tight Kubo. Bleach looks amazing in the final chapters. You can definitely see as the series went on the progression that this artist went through to make his art as beautiful as possible, and sometimes I just get mesmerized by some of these pages. Kubo's art style is almost up there with the way that Yusuke Murata draws for me. I've said that before, you guys know this already. I don't really know where to end this video. I guess I'll just say if you guys know any series that have really good art, let me know. I need more stuff to read. And if you yourself are looking for something to read, there are some series I know that have amazing art. Blue Exorcist has really good art. The manga for that series is amazing and I would love to get one of her art books soon. Ranger Rejects also has really good art, even if the story is kind of boring. Chainsaw Man is pretty good, it's very stylistic and it has its own personality. Pretty much anything Fujimoto draws is pretty dope, so. Vagabond is extremely detailed, just like Slam Dunk. You feel like you definitely should read those as well. And I think that's it for now. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Johnny Star out of here. Peace. Peace.